What's going on guys? Berg's Dip Reviews back here for another one. Camel Snooze Mint and as always the presentation. Pretty nice all metal. Um, camel and blue. The camel is also blue. Turquoise-ish background, uh, warning label on the bottom. Phone number on the side, snoosenation.com. 100% imported, sale only allowed in the U.S. Made by R.J. Reynolds, Winston-Salem, North Carolina. Tax class M, 0.32 ounces. And code on the bottom, back. Um, defines it as a crisp peppermint flavor, 15 pouches. Recyclable container, underage sale, prohibited, do not litter. Date is F5, June 2015, good for six months. So we're still in date, I've had fresher though. And when you get to the inside, whoops, fresh seal. And advertisement for Snoof Nation. So, the scent of them. Definitely peppermint. Smells like candy canes, really. Uh, here's a pouch. Uh, these are quite small. Okay, they're, you know, not too much thicker than this pen, really. Um, these are the small pouches. Uh, on the website, they are 0.6 grams each. The large ones are 1 gram each. So this is longer and about... I'd say half the width of the uh, of regular dip pouches at least. Um, so anyway, two up top and so I talked more, a lot about the uh, history of this in my last one on it. Um, used to be refrigerated, now it's not. Uh, I'm sure that's more convenient for most businesses to uh, not have to be running a refrigerator for it. I mean, the only the only difference really is that it's not cold, and I mean, uh, anyway, unless you put it in the fridge, it's not going to be cold after you buy it anyway. But I'm sure it would taste pretty good cold. Um, I'm trying to remember. I don't think I had the mint before this one actually unless somebody bummed me one or something but I don't remember ever buying it um, this one came out more recent than some of the others although they did put the frost out in large pouches as well as the small pouches so the frost large might actually be the newest but before that it would have been the mint and I find that a lot of people get the mint and the frost confused the frost is uh, spearmint and that's my favorite of all of them and then this is definitely peppermint um, so uh, similar but definitely distinctly different at the same time price uh, I've talked about it before it's usually I think I paid uh, 285 and it's somewhere between that and 319 in PA um, usually 319 I just always remember seeing it seeing it at that price anyway you know it, it's gonna be different where you are anyway availability camel snooze is the most widely available snooze in America I can say that with confidence just about every place that sells camel cigarettes has camel snooze and uh, yeah so it should be too hard to find uh, obviously it's pouches so packability and pinchability is great Nicotine, um, I always find with these, not a whole lot of nicotine, but enough to know that there is nicotine in it. And burn, um, yeah, it'll burn up top a little bit, but now that I've been snoozing, I had a couple cans of snooze now, so it's definitely less than it was with the first one. But it's still there. Um, so the taste. Obviously, it didn't really juice up too much yet. We're only about four minutes in here. But uh, I can tell you from since I had almost everything out of this can that it is definitely pepperminty. Uh, hard to compare it because 
you know it doesn't it does it has similarities to mint dips but it's not really the same thing it's kind of like pure peppermint um so if you like peppermint you'll probably like it but like i said frost is my favorite out of the camel snooses because it's spearmint and uh last ability all of these seem to last pretty long um i would give it an hour and uh is it and when it does kind of wear out it just slowly loses flavor it's not like it disappears but it it'll last you a decent time aftertaste peppermint aftertaste uh nothing really else to say about that um so some shout outs sam d video full review of the georgia dippers uh yee yee dipper and uh bandit is back and anybody else that wants a shout out let me know and i'll put you on the list here number of subscribers i just checked it i think it is 121 thanks to everybody uh keeps going up and i'm uh, happy about that and uh on a side note if you didn't see it i was uh hiking today so i have some appalachian trail pictures uh in a slideshow that i just uploaded so check that out if you're interested uh, I didn't put any music on it because I didn't want to get a copyright claim from YouTube, but uh, it is what it is. It's not that long anyway. It's a couple minutes. So, rating out of 10 on Camel Snooze Mint, I'm going to give it a 7 out of 10. Not my favorite. Definitely not bad. Um, definitely can be convenient in certain situations. So, would I buy it again? Probably not. If I'm going to buy any Camel Snooze again, it's going to be Frost. You've probably heard sick of me here saying that throughout this video. But, uh, anyway, I think I have to review uh, Camel Snooze Mellow, Robust, and maybe the small size of Frost, if I'm interested in doing that. I already did the large size. And then, of course, Skull and uh, General Snooze I'll have to get to. Um, so anyway, if you like this video, like it, comment, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Take care.